Hi, I'm Riz, and I'm here to show you the flow helper and the dart in PsychMeter. Before I go any further, though, just off the hop, the dart requires permission to use. You should not use a dart unless you have this permission, so please be sure to get that special permission. Secondarily, your scope of practice should include diagnosis. Back to PsychMeter. If you're going to administer the DART, you're doing it in person or virtually, but you're doing it live with a client or patient. It's quite difficult sometimes to be fully present during uh, a session where you're working through the DART, given the complexity of some of the DART's uh, logic with respect to what to do next or calculations to make. So walking through that, I wanted to show you the DART and how it can be used. So first thing I'll start with is the DART modules are all in here. Um, the self-reported screener is moved to the top. So if you wanted to, this is the only DART module you can send to the client. I've got here a screener that was filled out. And so you again, you could fill it out with the client or not. Um, and when you view the screener, it'll actually automatically score it for you to tell you what to do next, what other modules of the DART you should probably complete. Of course, you can look at all the answers given and use your clinical judgment to administer different tests by going back to the dashboard and picking a different module. But hopefully this is helpful for you in speeding up the process and allowing you to stay present. Going through these three for an example, jumping to alcohol use disorder, you can see kind of some of the things that the digitized DART along with Flow Helper can provide. So for example, here, you can zoom in and add events. Um, for this module as requested or as required. You can drag it along, you can click on something and you can move it around, you can delete it. So that's one interesting digitized aspect of the flow helper. If I go to this other gambling disorder, you can see that I can mark absent or present or any other option. You can see, oh, it just told me that as I've gone through marking these responses that the current is absent and what I need to do next. In this third example, you can see that I could say, I could fill out this and it says, yeah, these are both gonna be absent or not enough to proceed. But if I say, how tall are you? And I put in 180, not only did it automatically realize that I had entered in centimeters and converted it to meters for me, but it also gave me the feet and inches. Or I could go in, re in reverse and go six feet, zero inches, and it automatically calculates the meters for me. To save you that effort, to enter in the weight in kilograms, I'll put 150, or sorry, 50 kilograms, uh, and it automatically calculated the BMI for me to say that, and said that it is less than 18.5, which is the threshold. And it continues all the way through. With that, I hope you find the flow helper really useful and thanks.